might want to change it. Yeah. <laughs> We're live. As I furiously uh, go to just chatting. Done. All right. Okay. Everyone got the wrong email, but whatevs. <laughs> Why do you genuinely worry about that? Have you ever looked at the um, stats on those things, like the click through notifications? From Twitch? Not really. <laughs> With, uh, hey, beautiful people, what's going on? We're getting ready for another weekly daily Wednesday. So we'll get to that in just a minute. We're going to talk about Twitch for a bit. Um, mm. Kudos to Twitch for providing the stats. What are we at, like 600 people following us? Or something like that? Ish, yeah. Ish. <laughs> nice. We, we really keep track of 746. It. Okay, <laughs> it's been a minute. Um, so, you'll see... All those notifications go up with people that are subscribed. Usually, usually out of that, three people will click through the notification to watch. <laughs> <laughs> Which isn't bad when you really think about it, because think yeah. about how many times that you get notifications for people that you do follow and you're like, oh, they're alive. I don't have time right now. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm doing something else. Otherwise, I'd already be there. <laughs> right. <laughs> it is a stream. Hello, everyone. Alright, what next weekly daily Wednesdays? Mm -hmm. I think I spelled that right. Wednesdays, yes. 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 Oh, oh. <laughs> Wednesday. <laughs> hi, Artharen, and hi, Brother Jellybean. And yeah, Artharen, I'm rocking my skill mug, getting ready for that. It's all I've been doing the last few months. <laughs> that mug is out of date. What? Yep, that's last, last year's. <laughs> I'll get a new one this year. <laughs> you see, that that's why you get a stainless steel mug. They never go out of style, except for a brief period in 2037. <laughs> Stay tuned for that. <laughs> Spoilers. Yeah, this is my favorite out of all the mugs because it's nice and it's the biggest one. All my other ones are small. <laughs> so This one holds a lot more. I don't have many coffee mugs. Coffee mugs for me are generally useless. <laughs> because that barely gets me into the room. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I can see that. Uh, well, that's, that's gone. And this is like an extra big <laughs> mug. Pedro, where are you on mugs not filled with ethanol? I don't mind them. They serve their purpose. No rational I... hatred? No. no it's like, you get me a mug, I'll use it. Okay. Right up until the uh, ceramic on the inside starts to lose a little bit of its um, sheen and stuff starts to get embedded in it. <laughs> you gotta keep them clean, man. It's like I, I was cleaning this one the other day. I was like feeling it. I was like, I don't remember the inside of this mug being textured. <laughs> <laughs> so I took a scouring <laughs> pad to it. It wasn't textured. Nope. No, no, no. no it's too bad. <laughs> Too many liters of tea had been run through it. Yeah, that grain mug with the um, keep calm and have some tea. Mm -hmm. uh, that one, the inside, it's even if you clean it and you scour it, it's it's permanently scarred now. <laughs> mm -mm. The Hi, Sarsarisso. <laughs> for a long time. Uh, like my pewter mugs, but I can't microwave them. You're just, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but you can, just once. <laughs> once. <laughs> what are you talking about, Steve? I told you to quit drinking at work. <laughs> <laughs> Kitties. Lula, you'll be happy to know that Frodo is still in the house. He's being a very quiet, good kitty. <laughs> Is that different than what the cat normally does? <laughs> yeah, usually I, I kick them out. Are you saying the cat's <laughs> you know, normally I... an asshole like a normal cat? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I usually, when I'm streaming, I, I keep them out of the house. Um, but, you know, I have my door closed, so. But uh, he's just sleeping. <laughs> I don't know, man. You get your door closed. You could be, like, selling meth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But, yes, he... 
he what we we call him the knucklehead. He's a young. He's only, you know, about a year and a half old, and lots of energy, and picks on. He's got a, our other kitty, who's older, an older lady cat, and uh, they play together all the time. But he picks on her too. <laughs> Of course, Mir. <laughs> uh, we have pictures. Yes. No. <laughs> Linux Canaro. <laughs> you could ask Steve husband about that. <laughs> that is a thing, yes. Steve's when just I'm glad streamed. when she's streaming, man. Steve's like... <laughs> <laughs> he gets to go build models and stuff. <laughs> I'm sure Nori feels the same way. You're like, oh, look, Pedro's doing something. Not really. I'm in the living room. Uh -huh. <laughs> so she's like, yeah, you better be done with that soon. It's like, eh, right, okay. Then, then you have the complication unless Nori's been drinking a little bit. She's like, hey. <laughs> hey, hey. How you doing? <laughs> Oh, that's not a gif. I was waiting for that cat to do something. Okay, no. <laughs> it can be hard to figure out sometimes, especially when you're on mobile. Is this image going to move? <laughs> and then you it's close like, I it. I expect oh. gifs. <laughs> right. This is 2020. Come on. <laughs> well, even that, Ben. You'll do that. On, I'll do that on like Reddit, and it'll pop up in an image, and like, ah, I guess it doesn't move. Then you go to close it, and it starts moving. Like, ah, I gotta go back <laughs> and see if it's going to redo the thing. Man, so I'm getting ready to crush some graphics, Pedro. Oh, you're mm. going to make some mad graphs? Graphics? <laughs> 3D <laughs> powerhouse I have coming in. Okay. Are you just going to use the new version of GIMP, which we'll talk about on the show? <laughs> I'm talking about a video card that I posted <laughs> in Discord earlier, and it's like... Yeah. I have one of those. <laughs> I didn't see that. You responded to the <laughs> post. Oh, Eight. that one. Yeah, Jesus. No, okay. <laughs> <laughs> this was, was 30, th power th house. I, this was 30 minutes ago, too. <laughs> <laughs> you said Mad Powerhouse. I'm sorry, but I don't think it's uh, 6350 or whatever that is qualifies. <laughs> Once the joke has to be explained. <laughs> Yep. My brain didn't go there. Not a bit. <laughs> nope. <laughs> you were equally eagerly awaiting this powerhouse. <laughs> I was like, tell me what you yes. guess. <laughs> you were talking about the Titan powerhouse. It's like, okay, give me the powerhouse. Yeah, right. <laughs> who's, who's tweeting? <laughs> it looks like it's Linda. Yeah. Oh, okay. All I see is the red box. <laughs> 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 Yeah, cool. no, seriously. Now, now it's a uh, very good entertainment. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, no, with um, El Cheapo, seriously, the RX 570, you put it in there, away it goes. It's like, huh, we've come a long way. <laughs> That's the thing. Even the uh, Chinese uh, X99 motherboard. Still kicking. <laughs> I just needed a card to put into Jackbox that to make it pass a video test. Yeah. <laughs> Which it currently has a 980 in there. Even at idle, is like, give me all the power. <laughs> what are you talking about? It only idles at like 80 watts. I don't know if it's that. It probably is that bad. Why, why, why am I lying to myself? <laughs> How many uh, extra power connectors does it need? One eight pin or uh, one eight and one six? Eight and six. Yep. Hey man, it's got it's it's got to have a stable idle. <laughs> and I'm not using the closed source driver, so there's no power. It's just on. <laughs> so it's always on full blast. It's on. <laughs> So I want to get the, um, I don't know. What are you talking about? The 730? Mm. Possibly. 
I don't know, Mir, you know more about like 30s. old useless hardware than I do, so you tell me, is it? Or like the uh, the single slot passively cooled 710s? It's like, oh look, there's video technically coming out of this. Hmm. Yeah. This thing barely has an output. It's got like one of the, that jacked up yeah. <laughs> cable they did. That's a, like a multi. I was like, do you need two VGAs or two HDMIs? <laughs> Just be sure to have the uh, little adapter for this proprietary connector we have. You know it's not proprietary, it's just <laughs> the only ones that ever used it. I think Matrox might have used it at some point. I thought it was proprietary too, then I'm like, no, it's a standard. They have a standard for it. It's like, huh. Okay. It's a video breakout cable that sort of kind of looks like a DVI port. Yeah. <laughs> I burnt it. It's a solid nine bucks on the thing. It's like, okay. As long as it can get into the BIOS, we're good. And that's all I needed to do. Like, worst case scenario. Also, I better put, I better screw that cable in the back because I'll lose that thing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. just leave it dangling. <laughs> Might as well. <laughs> Hello, Keegan the Tennessean. Welcome. Good afternoon to you, too. Pedro, were you up to anything this week? Uh, not really. Okay, so you're not going to say anything? Uh, I can pass this one, yeah. Huh. <laughs> Genuinely just curious. I've Sometimes you don't put anything, then I'm like, okay, let's get to the new... And you start reaching over to pull something out, and I'm like, shut up, put something down, buddy. <laughs> no, no, the, the, I've been trying to actually put things in there if I have something to talk about. But I no, mean, no, even the... if it's like, I'm going to say something, <laughs> smiley face. <laughs> it's like, guess we'll get that in Saturday, which has happened a couple of times. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, it was Nori's birthday yesterday, so yeah, the the whole week yeah. was uh, around her. That tracks. <laughs> When's Jordan getting into town, Joe? Um, Sunday. So right after LGC Weekly, <laughs> yeah, he's he he gets up like at three or four in the morning, probably earlier. He's not going to get much sleep, I'm sure, Saturday. <laughs> While you're talking about that, uh, I need to use the little boy's room. I'll be back. Okay. You need to grow up, Pedro, and buy a full-size bathroom like the rest of us. <laughs> <sighs> so Jordan's going to be crashing with you? Uh, just the one night, and then, um, and then uh, Empty uh, flies in on Monday. Mm -hmm. So, and then they're going to get an Airbnb up until we we scale, so. <laughs> How long until scale? How many days until scale after that? Okay, um, so um, just three days, because scale starts, uh, um, the it's the 5th through the 8th, March 5th through 8th, Thursday through If anybody at home is wondering, I'm doing, I'm running probabilities right now of them to getting in trouble before scale. That's all, all that's all that's going on now. <laughs> I'm crunching numbers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> New project you're working on? Mm -hmm. Proud of you, man. You hooked up your cool voltometer. Cool, Linux scenario. <laughs> One. Hmm. Seems legit. You got a bag of cabs. Hmm. Nah. I think they'll have fun. They'll... Oh, yeah. They'll stay It'll nice and great. medicated, so... <laughs> they'll be able to um, deal with irritants. Like, hey, man, yes. whatever. Let's just go do stuff. Yeah. And what's nice is they're you know, both coming in early. Usually, empty doesn't come in until the day before. And last year, uh, Jordan uh, 
is the one that came in earlier, but this year he's coming in a day earlier, which is even better. Um. So Jordan's going to be a trust. What, 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 what have you lined up to show Jordan when he gets there? <laughs> I haven't planned that yet, but I will. I know he's going to be exhausted because, yeah, he's, uh, he's probably going to want to get some good sleep because we have to pick up empty at the airport in the the following morning <laughs> so i want to make sure that he gets sleep but steve and i have talked about it but we just haven't decided yet steve is doing 16 hour days right now mm -hmm. so we haven't been able to talk much <laughs> but i have some ideas yes <laughs> yeah I'm just not prepared yet for <laughs> The, that's that's the la the the last thing I'm gonna do is put some stuff together to show Jordan. Mm -hmm. I was just wondering when he walks in the door, what's gonna be the first thing? Be like, look what I got. Oh oh oh. Um. <laughs> You're overthinking this, man. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm sorry, Ben. I'm just exhausted, <laughs> and I just got so many things going on. Um, um, he'll help want to see uh, my new three monitor setup. <laughs> So, I'll definitely show him that. <laughs> In my room. It's, uh, I'm excited because one of the big projects I'm going to do after scale is, uh, um, I've got cabinets finally for the back, the back wall there. So, and then I'll, I'll have a nice place to put everything away and, and display my computers. So <laughs> You it's can't a, just stack them on anymore. <laughs> shut up, Pedro. Yeah. My brain just said uh, the, 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 the uh, Skyrim, like, vroom, it's like 40 <laughs> plus 10. Mm -hmm. <laughs> cabinets, man. Do you keep a lot of stuff in cabinets? I don't have room for cabinets. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I've always, you know, I, I need them, obviously, in here. Um, all the stuff that's under the penguins are going in the cabinet, and I'm going to put a, uh, a, set up a special sh shelf just for my penguins. So you can put them in the cabinet. Hey, we have a Sunday yeah. TV. Hey, oh, yay, up? Sandman, yeah. Yeah, I saw your tweet, Sandy. Yay. Thank you. Linda and she are going to be at scale, aren't they? Yes, they are. So I'm looking forward to having them here. We've got Haplo coming. Oh my gosh, it's going to be... Yeah, we got more people coming this year. So it's more insane. <laughs> I thought last year was going to be busy. This year is going to be even more so. <laughs> what do you still... Because he stole it. That's why. It's for the retail value. What are you talking about? <laughs> right? You can't put new in box if you take the stickers off, man. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> learn. Okay, it says it's new in box, but why is the plastic yellow? Shh. Shut up, Pedro. It's vintage. Trust me, they fall for it every time. <laughs> I put retro on the description. That's right. <laughs> Oh, yeah, and we have atomic acting at the house as well. That, that, that's <laughs> so. your problem. <laughs> so you're yeah. going to have Mir and Atomic mm -hmm. together at some point. Yes. I can, <laughs> I expect the weeb singularity to be recorded on yes. video. <laughs> oh, it will be. <laughs> oh, oh the, the, Pedro, the, you, we're quickly approaching the critical mass required for a legitimate fight to break out. It's going to be fun. <laughs> I don't think I'm people just are sorry. aware of this. Yeah. I'm sorry Sandman can't make it. He was trying. So we'll try and get him next year. And he knows he always has a spot. So with us at the house every year. So maybe next year. On the porch. It's hard when you're. he's a parent. So he's got children to take care of. <laughs> Only on the porch, man. You gotta, you gotta put a tin out. <laughs> Like, damn it, why is Sandy on the porch in a tent? They're like, <laughs> you can blame me. It's like, I'm just following the rules, man. Damn. It was Ben's fault. Ben suggested yeah. it. There, done. <laughs> <laughs> I just packed the kids in the suitcase. Yeah. 
See, I don't want to mess around with TSA. I want some suitcases for their holes. <laughs> oh, what's that? It's a breathing hole. I mean, it's to relieve pressure. Right. Because, you know, the plane. Yeah. <laughs> Dude. <clears throat> Dungeons and Dragons. I'm gonna grab a refill. So, anybody's gonna do anything, better do it. Okay. That's it. I, I, I'm We're good. We're gonna leave Pedro alone for a bit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> poor Pedro. Yes, I am poor. Your point being? <laughs> We're all poor. Like, when you... I mean, I'm making more money than I ever did in Portugal. But, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, I was like, oh, no, I'm doing well. You know, I got my house. I have more than one car now. I go hang out with Wesley. I'm like, man, I am broke. Compared to... <laughs> it's like, oh, right. You know, every now and then I get a day pass to go live in this world. I'm like, yeah, I'm a peasant. I get it. Other people live differently. Understood. And go back to my hovel. <laughs> That stupid little fight. <clears throat> I. What is. Okay, this is where we talk about the weather. Everyone go get drinks. Um, <laughs> it was stupid cold today. It was and somehow. 21 yesterday. <laughs> this is full spring we're having, and it's prolonged. I'm starting to fall for it. Yeah. <laughs> it's 14 today. Yeah, no, uh, today, even, like, lunchtime, it was, like, 9 Celsius outside or something like that. Mm. You could see your breath. <laughs> Nine's not too bad. Yeah, nine, 9 is passable. It's just that um, it, if it, it's under chilly. two digits, people uh, crank the um, radiators in the office to full blast. Hmm. And then they get annoyed when I opened a window. It was 14 when I popped out to the grocery earlier. Which, I got everything but trash bags. Man! <laughs> I was doing so good. I was proud of myself. I'm, I'm genuinely getting to the age where I might have to start writing a list. One thing I very much appreciate is uh, Nori sending me a text with the stuff that we need. He's like, oh cool! <laughs> right on! <laughs> ah! This, I don't know, man. I, I'm fighting it. By the way, if you're wondering, Casa de Vin, completely free of trash bags right now. Because out of principle, I didn't drive him and get some. I'll go get him tomorrow. I have like the um, the bags they give you when you check out. I'm like, I just got a couple <laughs> things thrown in there. Oh, yeah. I've used plenty of Tesco bags as uh, bed liners. Cause and it's like, okay, we're out. <laughs> in order to fill up, it takes me two weeks to fill up a regular size bin anyway, so. It's mostly <laughs> tea packets. Negative nine, geez, you get on shorts, don't you? <laughs> yeah, that's uh, Canadian short weather. <laughs> it's, it's weird when you get calibrated to that, because you think about, like, in the summer, it gets down to, um, like, below 20. If it gets below 20, I'm like, ah, it's chilly. But now if it gets up to 20, I'm, open the windows. Yeah. <laughs> You're going to get it before the show's <laughs> over. I have faith in you, Pedro. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's just, uh, I can only see it if it's in front of the screens. <laughs> so. Don't you don't you love it when you do like the, um, like the ninja grab and like, okay, just the zen, like, then you get it. Yep. Like it happens like one out of every... 13, 14, <laughs> Every now stuff, and then, right? like, like, like ah. the big flies, I can do that because they're big. So even if I graze them, they'll be a bit stunned and they'll go flying onto something and land. It's like, gotcha, bitch. <laughs> I'm not trying to kill you. I'm just trying to confuse you and you make your life a little more difficult. <laughs> I just opened the window, out you go, and we're back. <laughs> what were you saying, Jill? Oh, it's 23 degrees Celsius today, so it's a warm day for... It's, we have a, a warm streak right now. 
It is California. It is to be expected. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This you, is nor if... normal for us, so. <laughs> Did you sorry, guys uh, panic and uh, go shopping like crazy if it drops below 10? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> I've seen... It... Yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah, actually, when it goes below 20, most people aren't happy because our normal is 20 to 22. <laughs> so... <laughs> <laughs> so let alone 10 it did you know it did uh, we had a, a quite a cold winter so <laughs> yeah you remember it did drop down to 10 here yeah which is i've seen for us. like reports of california and it's like oh is, there's going to be uh, a cold front <laughs> coming to california and you see like pictures of supermarkets with empty shelves yeah oh oh it's going to go down <laughs> to like eight what are you complaining yeah. about? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's a thing. Yeah. <laughs> well, the other thing is we don't have clothes for it. You know, the stores don't sell winter clothes here. So <laughs> we have summer clothes even in the winter because, you know, <laughs> like December is usually one of our warmest months. I'm down at the beach playing volleyball in, this, in the middle of December. So... <laughs> So it's summer clothes year round here. So it's actually, you have to look to find jackets and things like that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Um, talked to my mom on the phone yesterday and she was like, yeah, it was 25 Celsius here. So we went to the beach. Yeah. Cool. Nice. All right. <laughs> <laughs> so it's been warm in, in Portugal too. Yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah, apparently it's really cold back east, but it's it's our normal here, so... <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, here, it's usually February is like the cold month, it's always when it snows. But this year, February. it didn't snow at all. And temperatures, I think, got below zero a couple of times. Oh, yeah, and but, I know you had yeah. a lot of uh, storms, because I've been watching a lot of the vloggers yeah. from... The, the amusement park vloggers we love, and we watch them. They're in England, and so they missed out several weeks on going to fairs because of the storms. <laughs> yeah. Here, the rain wasn't too bad here in Cambridge, mm. but we had wind. We had oh, plenty of wind. <laughs> okay. Yeah, and it gets it would get really windy because you don't have mountains like the tall mountains to stop the wind. <laughs> so you whoosh. <laughs> this is basically flat all the way from the uh, like east coast all mm. the way till you're almost in the Midlands. That's when you start to get some more mountains, but even those aren't particularly tall. <laughs> mm, yeah. <laughs> Seventy is. <laughs> That's the kind of weather that you can't open your jacket, and go like this, because it'll blow you off. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> you need to eat a sandwich. Yeah, Patrick. It was uh, windy here too yesterday. Not quite that bad, but it was pretty windy. The kitties were uncomfortable, <laughs> so they came in the house. Frodo hates the wind. <laughs> so. <laughs> I mean, I can imagine being a creature that weighs like five kilos, six kilos. Yeah, they get blown around. <laughs> <laughs> and the poor thing is, he never uses his litter box in the house. We we only we have it here for emergencies and whatnot, and when he's sick. But so he but he uses it when it's windy out. He'll that's the only time he'll use the <laughs> litter box in the house, <laughs> so he doesn't have to go out and the, his litter box gets blown away. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hmm. Let me put the video switcher. There we go. Ah. <clears throat> Also, Amazon, your Amazon Basics guitar stands. Well Nori made. has one of them. <laughs> Metal, too. Mm, yeah. Nice. Yeah, cold rolled <laughs> steel. I was expecting, it was like five bucks. I was like, that's going to be a little plastic thing, whatever. 
I don't pay attention when I order stuff half the time. <laughs> it's like it shows up. It's Amazon. And like, if I really hate it, what? I'm going to send it back. No, that was a nice, heavy, well padded. And it's like, that's a really good guitar stand. Okay, ready? Yep. Jill? Yep, I am ready. Put down the phone, man. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> let's get that sound. And boom. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Let's do a show. Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, as we stretch that final time. <laughs> the felt good. Sorry, it's going to be a minute. Stretch. <laughs> 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 yeah. See people say, take your stretch break. I was like, I don't yeah. take stretch breaks. I move and I hear the crunk and the grinding. And I'm like, yeah, I'm good. No. <laughs> 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 Let's I not put more every strain morning. on that. <laughs> oh, poor Ben. <sighs> hey, man, don't be held together morning. with pins. It's not fun. <laughs> Three, mm -hmm. two. And welcome back to Linux Weekly Daily Wednesdays, where we sit back, Hello. take that midweek break, talk about the fun stuff that we found going on in the world of Linux, open source, and everything else. I'm Vince Stone. That is Joe Bryant. And mm -hmm. over there is one Pedro Mateus with you joining Hello. us live. Man. How's everybody do it? I know Jill, you're like all wound up. You're happy. You're yes. sad. You're, yeah. um, you're all over the place, man. <laughs> Why? Is it just is it, um, too, too many stuffed penguins in your background? Well, no, it's yeah. Going on. Let's get you so yeah. no, I'm excited. <laughs> I, I'm stressed. I'm wound up. But it's a good kind of stress. But I'm just, ah! yes, so scale, scale, scale <laughs> is almost here. And Jordan is flying in Sunday and staying with me one night. And then him and Empty are getting an Airbnb. And then we're getting our big Airbnb um, for uh, our, our LGC Airbnb house at scale when it starts, March 5th. So, and uh, speaking of which, make sure you can, you can get... 50% off your registration um, at for scale using the promo code CHICKS, C-H-I-X. And that's a really nice. cool thing. <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty cool. I'm looking forward to that and seeing what you critters come up with. Oh, yeah. We got that's, a lot. Uh, we have a lot going on. <laughs> it's always good when plans catch on fire and fall apart at the last minute yay no yeah <laughs> <laughs> uh check this out hey everyone i made a thing i did 100 percent. it's real it's real boy i put it out it's a uh, pilot mm -hmm. episode of the first like new hole from cloth thing that i've made since this show so what like yeah. billions of years ago whenever this came out it's called interfacing linux it is mm -hmm. me me pulling a sneaky because I'm trying to uh, trick thrifty musicians and creators alike into coming over to the Linux side of things for their recording and music production needs. And the way I'm going to do that mm -hmm. is show them how to save a bununch of money with Linux because we can still use firewire interfaces. We're still going to be doing USB interfaces and stuff like that. But in order to do that, I got to get the database updated because it's out of mm -hmm. date. It's incomplete. Oh, and boy. It's a fool's errand. It's going to be an expensive errand, as I've already learned. You can <laughs> buy the interfaces really cheap. You're still going to pay $50 on shipping, but more on that on 11. <laughs> I'm really happy how the first one turned out, but I do want your feedback. It is up for our patrons because you are our bosses. Uh, that's going to sit for a week. I'll let everyone get a good look at it. Give me some feedback. What do you think about it? Mm -hmm. What needs changing? We'll roll it out to the general public uh, probably this time next week. And by then, I'll be able to take that feedback, tighten it up a little bit. We'll try to do it, keep it under 10 minutes so somebody can come in like, hey, man, I'm thinking I want this. Maybe I can get this working. Hey, here's how you get it working. Or, hey, this works out of the box. Or, hey, don't buy this, even though it's a really good deal. Looking forward to that. Um, yeah, that's the thing. That's what I did. Pedro, what are you up to? <laughs> uh, 
Not much. This Mozilla's latest really... Android app <laughs> takes its VPN service beyond Firefox. Yep. Jill. Yeah, so... <laughs> Hey Sorry man, you said you weren't up to anything. I was messing with you. No, no, no. I was thinking of Ben on his hey playing awesomely on his guitar. Oh yeah, that's right. Spoilers. Yes. Spoilers. If you... <laughs> I'm a huge fan of publicly shaming myself because it encourages me to get better. So if you want to see me go, oh man, I haven't played one of these in ten years. Um, so that's, that's it's, it's also going to help me get better over the years as I'm doing this because it's rough right now. But yes, there there might be a minute and a half to two minutes of me playing a guitar, <laughs> doing interface testing along with microphones and stuff like that. Okay, now back to yeah, the stuff. Yeah, that was awesome. So yes, Mozilla has just launched a standalone VPN app for Android. It's called the Firefox Private Network VPN app in the Google and it's in the Google Play Store for Android and is available for a limited time beta price of $5 a month. And what's awesome about this is that it comes uh, just after the Mozilla layoffs we talked about in January and Mozilla is hoping that this will increase their revenue. Yay! And I think if they do it right, it definitely will. And I look forward to trying a Linux desktop client of Firefox v VPN. That would be awesome. That'd be really yeah, cool. Yeah, that's the bit that's not <laughs> currently very awesome because uh, they're mm -hmm. not offering yeah. a Linux version of the Firefox <laughs> VPN. And yes. I'd, I'd be totally okay with them not having a dedicated client for Linux. Uh, they can do what private internet access does, which is they provide a little script that sets up op open VPN or whatever it is that Firefox is using. Um, so that it works mm -hmm. with the uh, network manager. So you don't need a dedicated client. You can just use the network manager, use the VPN connections from there. It just hits their servers. Boom, everyone wins. The other thing that's also not awesome about this particular beta period, US only. They do say that they're rolling mm -hmm. out uh, to other regions soon, but uh, yeah. not yet. Not nope. yet. Not yet. Dude. Um... <laughs> Five dollars a month isn't terribly bad, but no, that good. seems everyone wants a VPN. Do you like five dollars a month? You're like, eh, you know the comic. Then like holding out the money, then re mm -hmm. yeah, <laughs> it's it's good hygiene. I like it. It is using WireGuard though, right? So yes, yes good correct. Tech on that. What did yeah. Op whatever became of Opera's thing? Didn't they roll out of the uh, VPN service like two minutes? Yeah, ago? but it's yeah, it's. <laughs> It's just for web pages, though, and it's limited to the browser. Mm. So, yeah. <laughs> it's Opera like a plug -in. was also, you know, <laughs> caught doing some shady um, lending to people. Uh, so, yeah. yeah. Opera's <laughs> going to Opera, man. Okay. <laughs> hey, uh, Mozilla, keep up the good work. Introducing Extern OS Beta 2. This is the thing that looks pretty interesting until you get to a certain thing more than 11 but what is it it's an operating system lo and behold we're talking about that um it offers a unique user interface and experience compared to traditional systems well we're getting there it enables mm -hmm. a new way of writing applications with web technologies mm, where am i going with this <laughs> something something no js uh <laughs> oh, JavaScript OS. Yeah. God. A little bit. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, this is a new beta zone, 222. Two, two. It has a gang of new keyboard shortcuts for their video player that's built into it. I mean, this is like a contained bit of kit. Um, yeah. They have mm -hmm. added multiple instance support for the terminal because I guess apparently you could have a terminal of one VT open. Good on them. And there's a fix for the uh, file manager scroll bar that was like seven pixels out of alignment, which would cause you not be able to scroll. It's weird, mm -hmm. but I like weird. Mm -hmm. So I might look into trying this and forcing Pedro to run it. It looks a lot like Chrome <laughs> yeah. OS, if we're being honest. It really does look a lot like Chrome OS. That's exactly I guess... where I was going with the, is this before you really start hang hating on it? It's yeah. Chrome OS, man. I mean, but it's like a homebrewed version. Yeah, it is a homebrewed version yeah. of Chrome OS. And uh, there is the open source version of Chrome OS, Chromium OS, uh, which you can freely download and install and whatever. But uh, going back to Externos, because that's how they spell it, uh, 
there's a little bit about the, um, if you go to the, I think it's a developer page, uh, the developer writes, I'll upload as much of the source code as I can on my GitHub once I get my laptop back and have some time to do uh, some cleanup of my code. It's like, um, mm -hmm. okay, so not open source yet, gotcha. Uh, also, it's a JavaScript <laughs> OS. Um, we already have GNOME trying to be that, so uh, nothing new there. And uh, the whole not, you know, sharing the whole of the source code. I thought we were. Not I, filling I, me with confidence there. I thought we were. We were almost there, Pedro. We almost made it an entire month without you taking a swipe at Gnome. So close. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you might have just lost yeah. some money on that. <laughs> <laughs> don't bet on that. Do that. Seriously, don't bet on that. I'll take a swipe at everything, Danger especially eyes. the things I like. <laughs> That's our Pedro. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think having a dedicated OS focused on Node.js and app and web development is, is actually really cool. And I actually had fun. I tested the live USB. And yeah, Extern OS has a slick and custom UI that was created with NWJS. And actually, to me, it looks a lot like Windows 10, <laughs> kind of a, a, a really beautiful and slick version of Windows 10. And the one big thing you can't get away from, which I think is really cool, is it's everything's transparent. All the windows are are transparent. Even if you launch Firefox, it, it comes in transparent. And it, it's it's very cool and kind of futuristic looking. And I enjoyed playing around with it. <laughs> Really they started cool. to introduce transparency around the Vista days. I totally Nothing was about yes. to say <laughs> futuristic. <laughs> yeah. Remember when transparency was cool? And it's transparent. It's neat. And I was like, okay, I'm not going to say that. But then. it's not just um, Windows, though. It's all the icons and everything. They can all be set up to be transparent. I oh, mean, so like you're the saying, whole user interface. Wow. You can straight up put it like on confusing hard mode. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes I very strain true. OS. Yes, I strain. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> 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 I've done okay. Where are we at with our um, it, it me? Uh, what do you have enabled as far as desktop effects? I begrudgingly have enabled shadows just because I cut them off. Mm. I forgot to cut them off last time I was. <laughs> ah, see, I disabled yeah. that. <laughs> I disable shadows and I disable uh, all of the windows animations that are like, yeah, not the closing and the opening ones, and okay. those are just like the zoom in from the middle. That's you still it. do those. Like, <laughs> The, yeah. Like when it opens, it sort of looks like it was zoomed in mm -hmm. from the center. So okay. that's it. That that's the only animation I that's, have. <laughs> yeah, I I keep it very limited uh, on the animation as well because I I went I went you know better memory better memory efficiency, <laughs> especially right now because I'm using Ubuntu Mate with the old GNOME. So I've turned all those animations off and everything. <laughs> JLX compositing the GPU to the rescue. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. But what's cool also about um, Extern OS is that um, in some ways it's very similar to to the other uh, web-based technologies distro we talked about um, a while ago, the Jade desktop environment on the Manjaro web dad distro. Oh, I was wondering. And... I, it's like, oh, did we talk about Emacs recently? <laughs> <laughs> but but yeah it it had a similar flow to that one and granted it's made using a lot of the same technologies so it makes sense the interface and probably is a, a lot of the same but, code too but yeah it has all the transparency <laughs> transparency all the things <laughs> that's it it's transparency the operating system hopefully yeah. the source code will get up there and that'll be a thing that's cool keep an eye out uh but we need to have a little bit of a discussion Jeffrey Paul wrote mm -hmm. earlier uh, last week, it's like, Discord, it's not an acceptable choice for free software projects. 3,835 words, approximately a 21-minute read. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. it's, it's simple. Free software projects, analyses, should not use Discord. This goes equally for any sort of public interest group. <laughs> Here's why. Um, okay. Uh, <laughs> I, I'm going to go out on a limb just right here at the top and say, uh, you know what, do you know, do you want some bigger issue in open source? Uh, I don't, I don't think it's discord. I don't, I'm going to go out on a limb and just say, uh, gatekeeping 
shite like this is a bigger <laughs> issue than Discord. Yes. Just, <laughs> just going crazy on that one. That's just my thoughts. I don't know. What? Gatekeeping in the open source community? Just, Whatever are you talking about? Uh, I do not know. <laughs> this is not possibly a thing in our open source community. Everything is perfectly fine. <laughs> yep. We are all separate <laughs> individuals. <laughs> But it's, yeah, no, I get it. And the whole article is like, okay, privacy, 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 censorship, privacy, privacy. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. I get it. If you want privacy, don't use Discord. Just seriously. If you actually read the uh, end user license agreement and the terms of service for Discord, you will realize that you don't have any. If you're using Discord, anything that you say or type can and will be used against you in a court of law, if it comes to that. Uh, but if you are looking for people with time on their hands and, you know, like-minded individuals that happen to enjoy maybe a spot of gaming, maybe a spot of anime, maybe a spot of other things that you can find on Discord mm -hmm. that shall not be discussed on this particular show. Um, we both know you're in that are. knitting Discord. I've seen it. We're trying to hang <laughs> Stop. Just let it go, man. It's okay, man. It's 2020. Yeah, I almost joined the uh, Fedora Discord the other day. Almost. Uh, but <laughs> it's um, it's a, actually a very good place to find people and to talk to people and yeah. have, like, these crazy group discussions that eventually devolve into uh, either poop jokes or something else because we have the perfect example with our very own Discord. Yes. And <laughs> the amount of stuff that people in our Discord get up to, it's like, oh, that that's actually a really, really neat tool for people to get together and work on stuff together and discuss things that they want to do or things that they think about. It's great for that, but no, it, it's not private. Clearly. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and you know, these issues are true across the most popular social networking apps and services, including Google's Facebook's and Twitter. So it's just you you give up part of your privacy to be on these platforms that's just a thing we got to deal with and you know i the the writer was talking about how you can't run discord easily in the tor browser well most of them you can't run in the tor browser because they have to know your ip which you know it's sad but it's just true it's something we we deal with and yeah just Discord has been wonderful for Linux Gamecast, and there are other alternatives out there, but there are very few alternatives out there that also do video, which we need here at Linux Gamecast <laughs> for our patrons. <laughs> yeah, you so. see, I only communicate with smoke signals because it's open source. <laughs> and... <laughs> Come on, Ven, it's 2020. Vape signals. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, no, I'm a hipster. Um, I only use smoke. <laughs> I burn windows, windows Bonfire boxes. smoke. Yeah. <laughs> windows 95 boxes that I collected on the internet. Um, <laughs> go where the people are. That, that's kind of the important thing. It, it doesn't yeah. matter. Like, if you're like, you must sell your kitten. And, but if that's where everyone's at, you're going to be selling some kittens. That's just how it works, mm -hmm. man. I mean, these, yeah. these are words to write <laughs> yeah. words. It's like, oh, be warned. It's been going on since the 90s. It's not a perfect world. You have like talks and all these other open methods. They're great. They're awesome. It's not where grandma's yeah. at. I mean, it's not going to work. That's why Skype's unfortunately still a thing, right? Yeah. Yes. It's not yes. because there are not better technologies as to where the critical mass is. And guess what? Grandpa, I say this as a grandpa, critical mass has moved over to Discord. So yeah, mm -hmm. it's popular to hate now. It's reached that like, oh. Yeah. <laughs> that, that, yeah, it's triggered that thing in that type of person. That's cool. Whatever. I don't have clandestine stuff to talk about in open source. I'm like, Psst, yeah. do, do you want to see a Linux GIF? Come on. We, we got to yeah. keep big government out of this, though. Um, and, you know, business. within our, our community, they can use IRC or Twitch if they prefer. And um, well, we have Twitch and IRC. You know? We always yeah. will have the IRC. We have the bridge just tied in. I mean, if you want to use IRC, yeah. you can jump in our live channel anytime you want. We're there to talk with you, and we have a mm -hmm. Discord community where we're like, yo, let's just have, like, a smaller chat so we're not dealing with, like, drive-by, like, man, Linux, don't pop it in. You know, that's just locked into patrons, which is awesome mm -hmm. because it's a really cool place that I don't have to, like, moderate. Everybody's chilling there. Yeah. So, yep. <laughs> good times with that. Yay! Pipe wire!
We got some news on that. What is that? Pipewire is a XKCD comic done right, though, because this, this, <laughs> I want to believe. Um, I really do. This is Pipewire 030. Big release in the fact that it's going to work with a lot of stuff. Oh, what's that? Jack, mm -hmm. Jack compatibility. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. A complete redesign of the scheduling mechanisms that make it possible to run a Jack compatibility layer with comparable performance to Jack 2. Latency is a big issue that we got to deal with, but Pipewire's been making a ton of progress lately. And this, unfortunately, Pipewire is not Raptor bus proof, as I learned out. This is the work of one, one dude at Fedora. Um, but it's still very early days. You know, the Jack support, it's gotten yeah. in there, which has made me happy. Uh, the also support is mm. stable. Pulse still needs some work, but the way to help out with that is to install it, get it up and running, and test it out. And yeah. if you're unfamiliar, you're like, what, pipe wire? I thought that was the video thing. Yes, and... <laughs> at some point in the future, yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to do for video what this audio is going to... This is going to do for audio, though. It's the one unifying standard. It's if I'm developing an app, I target pipe wire for my sound system and eventually for video or whatever. I, I, I'm sure I don't care about the video stuff. Sorry, the audio stuff interests me. I'm going to target pipe wire and pipe wire is going to do everything. It's like, oh, you need to get all the bolts. Okay, or you want to tie into Jack, we can do that. And we're going to give you a nice, simple interface to make all that happen or just directly into also back in because you're a psychopath. But that's really, it's what Apple has done with core audio. Give them yeah. credit for that. For dealing with pro audio, there's a reason there's a lot of pro audio stuff done on Mac because you plug it in and it works. Yeah, even yes. high-end stuff. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. uh, just looking forward to this. And like Chrome, the latest builds of Chrome have support for Pipewire built into them, unlike Jack, which has been the bane <laughs> of my existence because I have to do this Jack Pulse audio bridge, then do that, then send it over the network. It, it's a bit of a nightmare. Then I have to do it again when it gets over the fiber card into this. It's pipe wires, save me. Um, that's all I'd say. Yeah. Not much. <laughs> it's, a, it's a little release, whatever. There's a new one. <laughs> yeah. And uh, I, much like Van, I do hope that this will be the one sound and in, in the future video framework to yes. unify them all. But yeah, at this point, uh, from my perspective, because yeah, you have Ven that's going all technical uh, and actually telling you what you're doing wrong. For me, it's more the user scenario. It's like, okay, I want the exact same kind of functionality that I get with Pavu Control. I can control all the yes. different streams. I can uh, set volume levels per sync. I can um, select which devices are enabled and which devices are playing or receiving audio at any one point. I want that kind of functionality to be just as easily exposed through Pipewire like it is now through Pulse. So, no. Please? Yes. No. <laughs> yes. Pretty please. I forbid. Uh, one, <laughs> one of the things I did notice is... Uh, like the the last paragraph is a uh, pipewire comes with gstreamer plugins to consume mm. and produce data for pipewires like wait hold on isn't this the thing that's supposed to like replace gstreamer it's the thing yeah, that will work I think eventually. with everything <laughs> yeah, yeah. No what throw <laughs> i mean you're gonna have to have pipewire to deal with whale on the desktop when it comes to video yeah no uh, yeah, very true. We'll, we'll mm. see. Like right now, the focus is just hammering on it. It's not to yeah. put the Tonka to a front end on it, so you'll be happy. Yeah, and the pipe wired. I mean, again, devs, from like... the user perspective. Uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just saying that's where it's at right now. Like right, it, it works yeah. with, you know, you can pull it up in like KT at the patch bay if you use Jack. Right. You're familiar with that. It can pull in, pull all your syncs, and I've I've watched a couple of demos with that. And it's like, okay, that's really neat. I'll play around with it was a bit more stable. I'm probably like the, like, oh, yes, you run it and give me all the database. And I'm like, yeah, this production. Uh, but I, I look forward to playing with it more. What's just a little bit more mature when I have the slightest up. Also, NetJack. Don't forget about NetJack. You don't have oh, NetJack in there. Yeah. It's dead to me. I'm not going to use it. <laughs> <laughs> I only say that because at a talk, and we're like, oh, NetJack. Yeah, we don't really know how to use it. Call me. I'll help you out. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. 
So this is really cool. GIMP 2.10.18 has been released. And there is something I've been wanting for a very long time with GIMP. It has a new 3D transform tool. Yay! So this allows you to rotate and move 2D layers on the XYZ axis. And, you know, it's industry standard ac across all the, you know, proprietary graphics and animation apps, as well as some open source ones. And it's, and it's just industry standard. So this, this brings the GIMP up, you know, uh, closer to the Adobe Photoshop Photoshops of the world. And the other cool thing is that the toolbox is more consolidated and organized and similar tools are now grouped together. Like all your transform tools, your scale, your move, your rotate. And um, uh, now it has the, uh, the 3D transform tool. So that's just really awesome. And they're also, yay, very highly customizable. Unlike Photoshop's, where in Photoshop you can't move around all your <laughs> your your tools and controls, it's very annoying. Dude, but that is so. This great is open source. <laughs> a fully customizable UI because yes, it, it it's really insight into what particular disorder each person has when you look yes. at their desktop. You're like, huh? Okay, <laughs> show me your GIMP UI and I'll tell you who you are. Pretty much, I mean, yeah. you, you're like, oh, we're never getting in an elevator together. Um. <laughs> yeah. So this release is basically a lot of those things that people wanted from Photoshop are, are coming to GIMP. So mm. that's that's really awesome. And yeah. it has better PSD support, which is always a good the thing. The thing that people want mm -hmm. from Photoshop is uh, Photoshop. Uh, they want that UI. They want those um, yeah. keyboard uh, shortcuts. They want all of that. And if mm -hmm. you have the gall to put yeah. GIMP in front of them, Sorry, honey, but <laughs> Nori was very much the case. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you, if you have the gall to put GIMP in its stock configuration in front of them, they go, eh, I don't like this. Yeah. Well, All right, fine. Yeah. This new version of GIMP has the, tool, uh, the, the tools in a strip on the left-hand side, just like Photoshop. Yeah, so it's whatever. closer Both looking you, to looking. You, you can just shut up, because <laughs> I, I was trained how to use a program, not a computer. Yeah. This is not my program. <laughs> a programmer using, interface. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. What I'd really I like started to see using the GIMP before Photoshop even existed. So that's a thing. <laughs> Photoshop used to be Aldous Photo Styler back in the day. <laughs> I'm old so. too. Same here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, <laughs> but hey, more functionality is always welcome, especially when it comes to like GIMP and uh, the rest yeah. of the free software. What out I there. want to see yes, happen please. with the GIMP is the same thing that we've seen with Blender. You know, the people getting behind it. I mean, that's something we've not yes. seen with like companies and industries and development houses getting behind Blender, throwing them, even Epic's like buying here some, have some money yeah. to do your things. It's starting to We're happen. We've not now. seen this on the 2D side. So hopefully that will yeah. be something that happens coming up in the 2020. Mm -hmm. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. It's the last Friday of the month, Jill. Yes, yes. What, Jackbox what, night. What does that mean? Friday night foobar. Uh, Friday nights at at <laughs> seven thirty Pacific. At Friday PM. <laughs> um, <laughs> seven thirty. Somewhere Eastern. among the PMs. Yes. No, Eight thirty. I'm sorry. Eight thirty Eastern. <laughs> 5.30 Pacific, we play um, uh, Jackbox, the Jackbox Party Pack. So mm -hmm. that happens once a month. Uh, so the if last they wanted Friday to come like hang out in our Discord and like <laughs> participate, uh, who gets to do that? Oh, everyone. All our patrons get to come in and uh, either be on voice or in video and join us while we're playing the games. And it's so much fun. And you can be, if if you don't come in voice and video, you can be an audience member and join us uh, uh, in the games as an audience member. Speaking of Patreon, that's that. the best way to support <laughs> our show. You can do that patreon.com forward slash Linux Gamecast each and every single thing we do. And uh, as I said at the top of the show, I got a new little thing right here. I want everyone to come check out. Interfacing mm -hmm. Linux, that's the first thing. Uh, something we did roll out early Last week, if you are curious, I did a new thing uh, with that. Mr. Mackey, the Christmas dot, 
Con. Control service. You can go check that out. That's open. We don't do like permanent paywalls, but we do like to do a little early access for the people that make this show possible. Um, we got uh, the shopping list for the studio, that stuff. But the reason I'm bringing this up is there's also one for interfacing Linux because that's just like, hey, man, this is what I'm planning on buying. Mm-hmm. I'm not asking you to come pick anything up. I'm asking for your comments. Be like, don't get that. Or yeah, that'd be neat to see in a video. Let me mm. know. Merch, Jill, when was the last time you bought a shirt? Oh, <laughs> just uh, last week, in fact. I had the uh, Use Me Penguin shirt in pink I was wearing last week. <laughs> that is incorrect, Jill. <laughs> no. The I last shirt it. you purchased was on Saturday. Oh, yes. oh, oh, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I purchased the Use Me shirt in black for Jordan so that it would be here. Um, we I had it sent to my house so it would be here in time for when Jordan comes for scale. So, yes. <laughs> so sorry. <laughs> but, yes, I did wear it last week. <laughs> you did wear it last week. Uh, we do have merch that's cut to the border right there if you want to um, adorn yourself in some of our wacky, zany clothing. I believe we all have merch except for Pedro. Oh. Yep. yep. <laughs> He's too busy. to fix that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm too busy not having money. <laughs> Can't be bothered. He's got Nicolas Cage posters to buy. <laughs> that was, uh, you know, a uh, very kind oh, gift. Oh, yeah, from look at this. Arthur Arthur. Arthur. Just trying to throw you under the bus, man. Um, <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> that is brilliant. Uh, let's see what else. Uh, we have LibrePay. Bunch of, bunch of different ways over at LinuxGameCast.com. More importantly, the best thing you can do uh, is to share the show on social media, stuff like that. Spam force, but spam force very politely and be like, Kanichiwa, delete expletives. Um, here's a show. Do, <laughs> do it the nice way, the polite way, the Vin way. And uh, that is kind of brilliant. What else do we have? Uh, we did the birch. We did that. We did that. We did the Patreon. Oh, yeah. You do get uh, access to that Discord we were talking about. Uh, we're there the other six days a week if you want to chat with us. That's where we discuss things like video cards. So I'm like, hey, Pedro, what about the video card we talked about? It's like, what are you talking about, Crickets. man? <laughs> Never happened. <laughs> That's where we organize and discuss some yes. things. And uh, we have pre pre super shows. And if you want the full uncut versions of these shows, we make those available in podcast format for you to download with a custom RSS feed. And uh, you get to feel good. Be like, I'm helping this nonsense. And that's going to be awesome. Pedro, you're going to benchmark mice. Mm-hmm. Yes, I am. Um, mm-hmm. The uh, Logitech G903, the uh, Rokat Kova, the 2016 version, and the... Um, Corsair M55 RGB Pro that uh, Mike G got me. Thank you very much for that. Uh, once uh, the CKB and X people figure out what exactly kind of moon magic Corsair did with these particular mice, and uh, it is fully supported on Linux like the other two already are, there will be a three-way mouse shootout coming. Mm-hmm. It's brilliant. Cool. You, you gotta love it. Pedro's constructed the situation like, I'm working on it, but I can't do anything. <laughs> I, the whole point of me putting this in the wish list was like, okay, as soon as they support it, I'll buy it. And mm-hmm. then uh, kind of showed up the next day. <laughs> you do it better than me. Do you know what I put? I, I don't use our wish list uh, as very well. I use it as a reminder list of like things to get. So I got up this morning to get my Hydra cufflinks. Because <laughs> I'm an adult and I totally am not going to wear Hydra cufflinks. And they were sold out. <laughs> Hail Hydra. Yep. <laughs> I'm just saying, man. I was like, man. I was a little bummed out. So if you're wondering why there's Hydra cufflinks on our uh, studio thing, it's because that was like, <laughs> they're sold out. That was my reminder last night of like, oh, I want to remember to get those in the morning. And they're gone. Wow, wow. All right. Let's get into a little Let's slice get... of diabetes. Diabetes pie. Mm, pie. Mm, Is that yum. meat pie? Because it looks like beef pie Ew, it's got, yes. i think um, it has walnuts in it ew yes <laughs> don't you love ground beef walnut nut pie uh, uh, i hate walnuts i i'm not opposed to either of those things uh or, you know <laughs> three no, things. No, walnuts. <laughs> but uh yeah no this one is a uh, little power um checker regulator it's whoa, basically whoa, whoa, a whoa um, whoa 
calm down. Tap, just dial back on the technical <laughs> stuff, man. We're just average people. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So uh, as the article title so clearly explains it, it is a Raspberry Pi controlled DC load. So basically you can set exactly what kind of uh, voltage you want uh, going through whatever it is that you're powering. And the Raspberry Pi will have the brains to uh, basically sort it out. And the one thing I, I was reading, they have like a full breakdown with schematics much like that. And they have a video where they show uh, how it works. And it's got a, an LCD screen on it. It gives you the current voltage, the, the current, uh, everything else that's uh, going through the power lines. Whatever DC power lines you happen to be feeding through it. And that's really neat. But they printed the enclosure off of PETG, you know, the standard um, filament that you use for 3D printers. And they were saying, it's like, oh, yeah, the actual power supply that's driving this whole thing, it gets up to like 75C and PETG is rated for like 80. So mm. that's getting a bit toasty. It's almost as hot <laughs> yeah. as my thighs. <laughs> but yeah no it's like okay uh yes uh like the uh, passive dc to dc power supplies even the one that i have in the steam box they can get a bit toasty that's why it helps to have a fan and they actually do have uh, the, what the are those of very aluminium on the regulators dude um yep <laughs> yeah <laughs> you need it the, you need the heat sink Most and they shots. use the exact same um they use the exact same knock to a teeny tiny little uh 40 millimeter by oh, two centimeter yep. fan. Yep. What can Brown do? Use the you? exact same one to pull air out and just get the heat away from it as quickly as possible. It's the same setup I have uh, in the C box. So yeah, it's like okay, that that works. <laughs> That's really yeah. good. Yeah. I mean, so, yeah. This Jill, is. Awesome. I want you to build one. Oh, oh, actually, I, I could with someone's house. I, I'm not an electronics engineer. No, that's why I want I you to build to one do, while drinking. I do know how to solder. <laughs> I do know how to do some basic things. Blindfold. So, yeah. But Suspended having, you know... from the ceiling. <laughs> yes. <laughs> no way. No way. With a strobe light. <laughs> but I think this is a really good <laughs> option be awesome. for... I'll give Steve some close you know... <laughs> <laughs> Netflix, call me. Um. <laughs> well, I think this is actually really cool because having a high quality and uh, having a high quality and commercial power supply testers, um, they can be qu quite expensive. And if you know what you're doing, this is a great way to save money and challenge yourself doing it. Um, this works for power supplies, for batteries. You can test USB cables. It's it's really uh, a jack of all trades, and it's it's nice to have this one. This one looks like it's it's very well made and will work very nicely. <laughs> that is very cool. So what do we have? Oh, new Pi, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, the Pi slips out. New PCB <laughs> version for the USB C power Yay. fix. I mean, nothing to see here, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, because. <laughs> it took uh, them a while. <laughs> this revision was silently pushed out uh, nice and quietly so people wouldn't stop buying the old one with absolutely nothing wrong with it whatsoever. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, the previous one works. I mean, you just can't use any other power supply outside of the official one. Well, for the you most part. could if you got lucky. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay. Actually, most USB-C cables are smart enough that uh, if you plugged it into a Pi and to any other power supply, it would go, no, that's an audio device. I'm not going to give it power. That, mm. the, the, that thing's not rated properly. So, yeah, that, that that's kind of... That was kind of the issue, because, yeah, like Joel said, it took them a while, but they finally released a fix. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's good to see, man. Uh, that's going to do it. Uh, we get a little bit of feedback, though, don't we? Oh, yes. Yeah. Yes, we do. And yes. if you would like to contribute some feedback uh, for the show, mm -hmm. by all means, don't send it all at once. Or, you know, do. I'm not your dad. Uh, you can go to <laughs> linuxgamecast.com. Yeah, go figure. Uh, hit the contact button and make sure the show that you send your feedback to is LWDW, unless you have uh, some foul-mouthed comments about that foul-mouthed show we do on Saturdays. That's totally a thing you can do. But, yeah, LWDW you is how that, we get... Yet YouTube always hits the show harder than they do. Um, 
episode. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Pounces on this show every week. It is like, this is not suitable for most advertisements. I'm like, God. Uh... You win, you do. I mean, if your goal was to defeat me into not caring, you win. Because I'm like, all right, just. At, at, at this point, it's spray and pray. It's like, no, people will teach the algorithm for us because we have no idea how it works. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah. This uh, bit of feedback comes to us from George. And George oh. is uh, it's like, okay, yep. I kind of fumbled the description of free software versus freeware last week. And he <laughs> says, maybe it would be easier to explain the two kinds of free software to people by calling freeware software for free. Just a thought, since not everyone likes beer. You don't like beer. <laughs> I mean, I, yeah, I think that was implied, but... Uh, <laughs> No, that was because I used the uh, like the old free as in free software, not free as in beer. Um, mm -hmm. I kind of butchered that a little bit too, but whatevs. Uh, yeah, no, that's uh, freeware. I think at this point, if you're watching a uh, or listening to a podcast about uh, Linux news, you probably know what freeware is and what free software, as in free software foundation, is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's the thing, man. Nothing to worry about. We can agree to disagree, but one thing we got to be solid on is getting out of here, but thinking, oh, the beautiful people are making this Aww. shit possible. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> right. We're going to do it. Hang on. Uh, Maybe. Yay. Yes. Yay. <laughs> yes. Yay. Yeah. Seriously, every single one of you that have contributed to the show and have made this possible this show i keep saying it and i will keep saying it was made possible by all of our executive producers and all of our producers you all made this possible we have jill here because yeah. you all made Aww. this possible you're awesome <laughs> Aww. we love you and we are honored each and every week that you fund this show and fund lgc it's amazing you're awesome. You don't need people to tell you that. That's why you're awesome. <laughs> yes. Pretty much. That's why you're a part of our community. Because you're lost. <laughs> <laughs> How did I end up here exactly? <laughs> Yay! Bye. <laughs> Oh, oh, it's the Kickstarter for that uh, <laughs> Linux gaming client. What? The uh, that Linux gaming client that looked a lot like uh, GOG Galaxy. Oh. <laughs> yeah. That was the music that they had for the trailer, wasn't yeah. it? Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> Patrick, I like your, or Mir, I like your party hard cat gif. Mm -hmm. <laughs> LGC players. <laughs> That's it. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't released the players video in a long time. <laughs> We just call it we suck at now <laughs> it's called live streams now yeah, yeah. <laughs> pretty much <laughs> i mean we used to do a lot more produced videos because there was no option b mm -hmm. but now we live in this strange moon future yeah Oh, there's the cat girl again. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, he got some attention from the first time. What do you expect? Yeah, once that try and for either comes out on Linux, which is probably not going to happen, uh, or it comes down to a price that is like, all right, fine. <laughs> we shall try it again. <laughs> 
We would try to get if I get trying to cast. <sighs> that was one of the things with it. It's like, yay! I thought I was gonna get that uh, deck link, that quad deck link, so I can just be like, "F you, trying. You're gonna work whether or not you want to, man." Because it just, <laughs> it's not having it trying to capture it through OBS. I don't have a way to capture. Well, I, I can capture UHD with a black match, but I gotta do a UHD 30. I'm like, hey, you want that console experience? <laughs> I mean, depending on how the performance is in game, that might be accurate. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Cause try and three. Okay, had here's some the thing though. We, mi we might be getting that anyway, so <laughs> you dig? Yeah. Uh. <laughs> Mm -hmm. That's a creepy smile, Artharon, on that kitty. <laughs> Someone find me an Apogee Ensemble. I want one really bad. Go on, get to it. Does he may not have them? <laughs> not for what I want to pay for. <laughs> ah, okay, gotcha. <laughs> Difficulty multiplier. Um. Uh, yeah, 330 pounds. That seems to be about... See, this one... This, one's, this one looks so clapped out, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then there's the other one, which is uh, 1,385 pounds. Yeah, that's somebody who's on drugs. This... <laughs> <laughs> that's somebody who stole it. They don't know what they're like. Uh... <laughs> This one looks viable, but I don't want to pay 300 bucks for one, man. Yeah. Mm. Welcome to the world yeah, of I mean, this 330 pound faces. one, clearly it's been racked many, many times because uh, those holes are tapped. But it looks all right. There is so just like a cavernous yeah, hole of like apogee we don't know if it works under Linux or not I'm like i can answer this quote not for that much because i gotta look at it i gotta be practical <laughs> no. about it i can answer yeah. like six little smaller questions for the price of that one i can get several other cheaper interfaces that one i am kind of cute even though it's garishly hideous um aesthetically it's, it's a very ugly interface but Apparently has like 75 dB preamps on it too. Oh, like, very good. But then again, I mean, it was like a $1,700 interface a decade mm. ago. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Plus, I think it was targeted for Mac users, so. It is Firewire, so. <laughs> and Firewire doesn't have anything to do with Mac, baby. Yes, but Macs were the ones that uh, popularized it. <laughs> That iMac that I used for a couple of months at work, it had five USB 2s and a FireWire. People would give their pinky toes for that type of connectivity in a modern laptop. Yeah. <laughs> like, what do you get? USB C. Oh, okay, Cal. I said USB C, <laughs> but where is the other USB C singular uh -huh. one? But what about the charging USB-C? <laughs> so I can't use... Oh, what's that? Yep. You want to plug in more stuff? All right. Um, buy a dongle. Mm -hmm. $75, please. Yep. <laughs> hey, man. What? Do you hate freedom? America! <laughs> what are you talking about, Joe? Oh, I was thinking about uh, Firewire, because I think uh, we were using them on PC before... It became a thing on Mac because we were uh, capturing video. So and um, but you know Max did popularize it. Uh, yeah, we actually had a um, I had a switcher in the classroom to hook up several video cameras at the same time, so I can switch back and forth. That was really nice. Well, I mean, it was Firewire. Yeah. You could add a hub. Yeah, that's exactly yeah. But it was a very nice one. 
but yeah, all my Macs have them, but all my all my high end Dell workstations did too at that time. And uh, I was just trying to. I when uh, you were talking about that, Pedro, I was just trying to think. I think I actually did use FireWire before it became popular on the Mac. I said popularized. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know you did. <laughs> Memory yeah, is had... highly unreliable. It was Apple. Mm -hmm. First to include onboard, so you might have been able to buy a Firewire card. Yeah. I mean, the besides cards. designer, Apple. Well, yeah, Apple made it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's see, it was developed in late 1980s and early 1990s by Apple, yeah. which called it FireWire. Yep, I had uh, the external SCSI. The, <laughs> yeah, the um, first Acer laptop I had had um, one of those um, smaller FireWire ports. Never saw uh. any use. <laughs> No, I lie. I think I plugged in someone's um, FireWire external hard drive once because they couldn't open it on their Mac. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to say since Apple invented it, they probably had it first. <laughs> probably. <laughs> One thing I don't think I've ever seen is a FireWire port. I mean, I've seen it. I have the ports. I've just never seen devices that take use of it. Hmm. I think by that time, because USB 2 was already solid and USB 3 was rolling out, they're like, nah. And nowadays, Thunderbolt and um, USB-C 3.2 can actually push that much power and it's just a matter of compatibility. Well, I mean, it's wholly dead technology, but <laughs> that that's where you get the crazy deals, though. Because as much as PreSonus would like to tell you that released in 2020, their new PreSonus 2626 is better than the 10-year-old FireWire version. Get audio technology moves at a very glacial pace. The preamps in that may be 3% better, but the biggest difference outside of the move to Thunderbolt 3 versus Firewire, it's like, we put blinky lights on the front. <laughs> we changed the knobs around a little bit. Like, so what about like input and output? And they're like, oh no, the same input and output as the 10 year old version. I'm like, uh, sound quality, that is roughly the same, man. I mean, I don't think you'd be able to tell the difference in A and B. Like, so... I can get this one for 100 bucks or this new one with Thunderbolt 3 for $1,200. Like, well, to be fair, they're very nice blinky lights, sir. <laughs> uh, yeah. I think I might have to go with the FireWire version. That's why it's in the rack. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Oh, Isada, yes. Mm. I had a couple of laptops that had one combo Isada port. Oh, we've all had the, like, <laughs> what is that? <laughs> In fact, uh, the um, 990FX motherboard that I had for the 8370 had two uh, eSATA combo ports. The Sabertooth R2.0. Alan, you know full well a lot of stuff is shape compatible to USB in the dark. <laughs> or if you just generally not paying attention. It's a square connector. It's like, oh, that's about the same size. Oh, um, <clears throat> the <clears throat> X240, the power connector. Here, I have the uh, thing here. This is the power brick for the X240. Kay. This is the connector. Okay. Uh-huh. That's about the mm -hmm. same size as a Type-A USB. <laughs> so if you're looking at the port, because the port has no other indication that it's the power thing, 
instead of the instead of just another USB 2.0 port. So I have plugged many, many flash drives <laughs> to the power uh, port of the um, X240. It's like, why is this not re? Oh, mm. yeah. okay. <laughs> it goes in. Oh yeah. Oh, nice. <laughs> no, it, it, nice. it is basically the exact same size. Mm. <laughs> that was just an engineer being a dick. <laughs> it's like, kudos, Lenovo. Uh, I screwed that one up. <laughs> Give this a little boop forward. I need to check something. <laughs> yeah, I was reading the Firewire history uh, wiki. Is there an Go end on. To the story? Say yeah. Wikipedia is an unreliable oh. source. Go on. No, I'm, no, I'm no, not no. putting um. you in charge of making trailers for movies. You're like, hey, this awesome thing. Just, no, because I going? remember um, I was part of uh, the motion picture expert group here in L.A. And um, I remember, you know, them having talks about the Firewire protocol. That, that's why I was saying I think I, I was using it before most people were using it on their Macs because... They were they were dealing with licensing issues of it and we were able to get hardware that hadn't been used yet and i think that's where that came from um it's my it's been a while <laughs> since i thought about that <laughs> it's one of the beautiful things about memory it's very yeah. unreliable <laughs> yep <laughs> well that yeah 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 <laughs> But we got to beta test a lot of hardware and software, which was really cool. <laughs> Let's see if that rocks and rolls. Let me try something. Our audio is going to go down for a second because I got to cycle a thing. Okay. If it doesn't come back up, uh, give me more seconds. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just wave. <laughs> a lot of waving. This is a modular system, though, so video and everything <laughs> will continue. Charles, oh. you joined a gang? <laughs> West Coast. <laughs> this is one of the beautiful things about NetJack with Auto Discover. Because intellectually, I know what just happened. When I take, mm -hmm. like, the brain of the system out, that's doing all the digital mix minus, the routing and all that, and I bring it back up. And through the hardware, through the software, over the network, and just... That's really cool. <laughs> so it's also a pain in the ass. I had to change something. I had to change the... Uh, how many threads I wanted available for a door. So I accidentally set it to two instead of 12. I wasn't paying attention. This is what I do at like three o'clock in the morning. I can't go to sleep. I'm just like, go in the studio Aww. and find something to play with and work on something. Yeah. So, be productive. There's not a lot you can do. I'm just tell people. Like, hey, man, I'd like you to come do a thing with me or something like that. And I'm like, when I get some free time. My problem is my free time shows up at like 2.45 in the morning. Yeah. Like, oh, I got free time. <laughs> Anybody want? Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. Mop or something, I guess. <laughs> House chores. Oh, I like that they have a death date for, wait, hang on, future enhancements. Oh, they think, oh, no, fire, let, let it go, let it go. 
<laughs> Let it go. It's dead. Keep it dead, too. We have Thunderbolt 3 now. <laughs> and and Apple makes Firewire to Thunderbolt 3 adapters. Of course they do. And they're 50 bucks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> but that's not really the dick move. The dick move is not from Apple. It is from people who are making the interfaces because they want to sell you new interfaces. So all of a sudden, like with uh, the latest uh, revision of Mac, what is it? Kettle leader or whatever Catalina. Yeah. yeah yeah they because everybody had to do 64-bit drivers and stuff like that and they're like oh oopsie we can't make drivers for the fireway but by the but we, we got the thunderbolts for their new stuff though guys <laughs> oops i mean there's nothing stopping us in fact you know a lot of you have found ways around it but yeah go buy some more stuff from us It's just mean, man. I saw a lot of people saying, just, don't upgrade to Catalina. There are no drivers if you're using this thing. Mm -hmm. Don't do it. <laughs> this is the story I'm seeing over and over again on eBay with where I'm getting stuff mm -hmm. like an M Audio. They were bought by Avid. So, I mean, it is a predecessor to this Digi Design rack that I have, but it's like in a 1U format. This guy's like, yo, man. I just can't use this thing anymore, and they realize that it's worth nothing because Windows 10, no FireWire support. Yeah. And <laughs> your Mac's like, I can't give this thing away. And I was like, I gave 20 bucks for it. I'm like, it's better than nothing, right? <laughs> yeah. It's like, you're getting 20 bucks out of it. <laughs> it's like, you don't know that I know I can still use it. Yeah. So, this is something of a. Must be soda combos. You go to bed at 10 p.m. Oof. You, what time do you go to bed, Pedro? I know Joe goes to bed at like 7.30. <laughs> Usually midnight, midnight-ish. <laughs> Mostly because it's uh, usually 6 a.m. already up, so eh, six hours of sleep. Eh. About six hours. <laughs> I mean, especially if you have like a structured hour, you have to you have to maximize not at work time, like preferably awake, not at work time. Like, um, where, where are you up yeah. still, principal? <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of that. <laughs> I know those feels. Um, it's like I'm at work for eight, eight and a half, nine hours a day. And so, yeah, no, I, I'm going to make use of all the other hours that I get. Do you have, um, like, sorry, I know people want to shoot me in the face. I've never really had, like, a straight up traditional, like, an adult, what do you call it? Like, you go into work at this time and you get to leave at this time type job? It's basically that. My boss was very clear when I started. It's like, I need like seven and a half hours of work from you. It's like, okay, seven and a half hours at work uh, with a 30 minute break at some point for lunch. And that's the yeah, question I was getting to is like, do you have a structured lunch? Like, you get an hour off for lunch. Uh, uh, we have those 30 minutes for lunch, but even if we overrun a little bit, it's usually fine as long as we make up the time later. Mm hmm. Even when I worked for Digital Insight and uh, Scientific Atlanta, that was, I mean, they're like, show up. It was all project based. Though. It was like, I don't care if you get this done in two days and go to Bermuda, which I didn't. And <laughs> well, yeah. Then yeah, just... the RS is just, yeah, you have those seven and a half hours a day that you have to work since I want to get out a little earlier on Wednesdays because of the show right. uh, I do an extra hour usually on Mondays so yeah that mm. there is a flexible working policy in place that's nice but you kind of since we're IT support we need to be there while there people who need the people IT are support there. are there yeah mm. <laughs> yeah 
that's kind of Steven's situation. He's got flexibility, but he's got to be there when the designers are there so he can yep. support them. Does he make him Coco? <laughs> <laughs> no. They make him Coco, though, because he's in a group with all <laughs> the Muslim ladies. Then he's not ladies. supporting him very well. <laughs> <laughs> no, but they... He, he, he not only uh, builds them their models and, and, and their schematics and develops his own toys, but he also hangs shelves and does that kind of thing because there's so many ladies around and they come and ask him. <laughs> yeah, the IT you... team is the uh, yeah. Swiss pocket knife in our office too. It's like, oh, we yeah. need this done. It's like, um, how does that relate to us exactly? Uh, you guys are sitting at your desks. Yeah, do you see the amount of laptops we have in front of us? <laughs> uh, but please, can you help? It'll be quick. Three hours later. <laughs> you only have to successfully disappear one person, Pedro. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we have uh, basically been told by our boss, if reception calls and they ask you for IT support for the other tenants in the building, you say no. It's like, oh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> but everyone just sits around all day hoping for that call. You're like, I've been given permission to tell someone. <laughs> Oh, I get a lot of those calls. It's like, um, have you told them to do this? Yes. Have you told them to do that? Yep. Yeah. Sorry, can't help you. <laughs> oh, man. So what are you doing the rest of the day, Pedro? Um, Night. not much. <laughs> I will uh, check the uh, show notes for uh, Saturday show. Okay. And, um... Maybe get in some Dark Souls because my performance yesterday was poor. <laughs> I got invaded and I didn't even get the invader down to half health. That 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 was bad. <laughs> I say we have a race, man. You need to learn guitar since I'm having to relearn how to play guitar. We can see who can play a song better each week. <laughs> Might have to convince Nori to teach me properly, but uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Start off with something basic like Master of Puppets. <laughs> Master! Master! <laughs> this was what really threw me off because I was like, oh, look, the internet would shoot me if I didn't play some ACDC because I'm sitting here with an SG. And it's like, you know what? The internet will shoot me. It's called YouTube and the DMCA. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, the 8 bit guy, uh, that video, I can't remember who it was that posted it on Discord earlier. Uh, he played like uh, Axel F on that oh, keyboard Axel that Foley, he was yeah. reviewing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And he was like, he edited a bit of extra video at the end. It's like, okay, so I was debating whether or not to upload this because I uploaded just a video of me playing Axel F and it was immediately. Yep. Gotcha by content ID. <laughs> Trace rounds. I do the. Yep. I know this. Um, before, I just gave up because you, uh, the free music archives, a lot of that stuff, even though it has been released, uh, some of the stuff isn't really centered, but it's that mixture. You can't be 100% sure. Yeah. So I take all of our music and I just fire some tracer rounds. I would just put them in one long video. With the, <laughs> a static picture, then upload that to YouTube and let it sit for a week. Then go through, then figure out which songs we can use. Now YouTube has it's like, here, you can use our library about stuff, and it's all cheering in the background. Don't worry about it. Of course, I think it would be hilarious if somebody tried to strike YouTube's own music. <laughs> I'd be for that. <laughs> I mean, th those are the kinds of um, claims that you never even get to see, mm -hmm. because I'm pretty sure that they have a lot of those. <laughs> Doo -doo. <laughs> <laughs> I also remember uh, Smooth video. McGroove. <laughs> the, uh, when uh, Smooth McGroove was on the Co-Optional podcast uh, and they were talking about Content ID mm -hmm. and 
Smooth McGroove does everything with his voice. Like, all, all of the, um... Like, video game themes and all the other music that he does at Capella. It's... Yeah, it's all him. And so he's, he's a got... Yeah, uh, he's does he got, live in like... A chest? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> But yeah, he's got so many uh, content ID claims because he gets that close to the original that content ID just goes, mm -hmm. nope, that's ours. <laughs> we want the whole thing. Now, they've, they've gotten a little smarter with like, oh, revenue share. How about we get 80% of the revenue for doing nothing? Mm -hmm. And yeah, we're cool now, right? Like, no, we're not. <laughs> So that's why the only thing I played in that video, even for a second, was um, E1, what is it, uh, M1, Den map 1. Yeah. E1, D1, what, damn it, what is it? Um, E1, M1. E1, M1. <laughs> Episode 1, map, map 1. one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> As opposed to an M1, A1, Abrams take? Keep going. <laughs> Happy fun view. Surprise day. Blam. Do they still do the um, co-optional podcast? I, have, I haven't seen it, honestly, since... Um, I know that uh, Jenna took over after TB died. Mm -hmm. They did it for a while. Then I stopped seeing it show up uh, in my uh, recommendations because I used to see it. I did... Ooh, that's why I was asking. I was like, I haven't seen that. Movie. Yeah. I mean, I catch like if Jesse's streaming something, Dodgers my girl. Yeah. She's my background noise because she's up <laughs> six o'clock in the morning my time, and I'm like, hey, background noise, boom, put that on. Uh, so, let's see, <laughs> co optional podcast. I haven't listened to that one in a long time. I don't. I don't know if it's around either anymore. Uh, four months ago seems to be the last mm. one. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That was the uh, the last one in uh, Jenna's YouTube channel was four months ago. Mm. So it wasn't just me being oblivious, which is... No. Fair assumption I'd... to make, though. I mean, it's for future reference. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Okay, this thing looks like it's being nice and holding, so... Problem solved. Jill, are you going to take a nap? <laughs> I'm going to eat, yeah, then maybe rest, and then do some more uh, scale prep. <laughs> and lay around in a food coma. No. <laughs> <laughs> I've actually purposely, around these this time of year, I just eat little meals. I, I, I don't like eating big meals anyways, but... I eat little meals because I don't want to. What do you got against get, medium meals? You know, <laughs> sick or tired. <laughs> That's sizest. <laughs> I'm saying, man. Medium meals need love too. Actually, okay. since I, uh, you know, don't exercise and I don't do any of that, I have started to notice a little bit of a belly. Belly? <laughs> Yes. <laughs> I have a little bit of a belly. It's only really noticeable when I sit down because it bulges out a little bit. <laughs> I don't know if I can get away. No, I'm not going to pull my shirt up on Twitch. So Just in I've case. started I've started eating less because I realized that I don't need um, 10,000 calories per day. Depending on what I'm doing, I, I, I probably sit around... 12 to 1400 a day. Yeah, that, that, that's... Ideally, for your average adult, is uh, it's um, 1600? The recommended calorie intake? Um, man, if there was only a machine that would... <laughs> Damn shame that. Um, I think it's sixteen hundred. I may be off. Thanks, Google. You've killed conversations because we, we could have speculated for like twenty minutes on that. Like, oh, Let's no. see. 
Average calorie intake. Okay, adult males generally require 2,000 to 3,000, and uh, females need around six, uh, there, that's where I got the 1,600, mm. to 2,400. How many calories do you have a day, Jill? Oh, Jill's just cock something up, she can't hear us. <laughs> Who wants to do Joe's voice? <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on, you guys. Leave me alone. Ah, no. <laughs> Go away. <laughs> you see. Damn it. Wait, hang on. I still might have enough time. Um. Uh... Okay. Yeah. We got faith in you, Jill. You can do it. Well, she's in Australia mode and we still can't hear her. He's a typing. <laughs> Radio's fun on this one. I don't know. I wasn't the one that closed the browser window. <laughs> <laughs> There we go. All right. There we go. <laughs> so why'd you close this? Huh? Well, I just, I went to a different browser. <laughs> Hoping that wasn't the issue, but I did have... No, no, um, before that, when you closed the tab that the video was on. <laughs> I, I didn't. It, it knocked me it out. just poofed. Yeah, you poofed. Yeah, it knocked me out. Yeah. It, it, um, I was receiving hardly anything from you. It went into the red and it just knocked me out. Uh, now it's okay. But, um, I did have, I just had a couple, um, uh, blackouts and my UPS kicked in. So that might've been part of it. <laughs> Uh, Better look next hate. time, UPS. Yeah. <laughs> well, it is working. But obviously there's having power issues. <laughs> it's California, man. I mean, listen. Yeah. It's, it, it, it's taking a break from being on fire to have some power issues. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah. And I saw my even my light flickered. So Don't worry. It'll all shake like, itself uh, out. Yeah. So. <laughs> Yeah, so my my audio was just fine. I was testing all my audio, and then all of a sudden I had a little brown out. <laughs> but then the UPS kicked in. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> and then that's probably why my internet went went down a moment until the UPS kicked in. <laughs> we need to get <sighs> take up a fund to get a better UPS. <laughs> no, this is the one that Artharon or um, Mike G got you. Well, it should kick in, like, and not knock your internet out. Well, I, I don't know. It doesn't happen that often, so I haven't been able to test that much. Like, did your modem reset? Your it might have. It might have. Oh, that's probably what happened. That's probably what happened. This happened one time when I was on Jupiter Broadcasting, and yeah, actually, I'm remembering that, because when the, the power goes out, then it resets itself, so it took it a while to sp spool up. Well, I mean, that should That's... be plugged as your UPS, though. It is, yeah. Everything, because I've got fiber. I've got three different pieces of equipment plugged in that UPS for the internet. Yeah, I'd go dig up the warranty card for that. Yeah. <laughs> UPS, because it... Nothing... Everything in this studio... Nothing should blink, period. Well, my light saying? blinked, 
Yeah. Where your white light's probably not hooked up to the UPS. Correct. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it could be. I don't make assumptions, man. All right. I'm going to go let uh, Nori use the uh, living room again. Bye, everyone. All right. Oh, bye, Pedro. Bye, Pedro. Check your ONT. Yeah. But yeah, it, it had a couple seconds of. But but the computer was fine and monitors were fine. So. Hmm. Yeah, I, I think my internet reset. I think it reset. <laughs> cool, ah. cool. All right. Well, mm -hmm. you, 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 you chased off Pedro. Are you happy with yourself? Oh. <laughs> I did. <laughs> it's like, oh, it's going to handle it. Too much California. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> So, well, I was asking you, uh, what do you have against medium meals? You said you had small meals. Oh, <laughs> yeah, medium's good too. But I usually I don't, I don't eat big meals in the first place. So, my big is probably someone else's medium, anyways. <laughs> All, right. All right. Yeah. I don't eat a lot. Don't, you don't get wrecked on. Ah, <laughs> uh, I don't know, man. man. You, you got to factor it out throughout the day, man. Snacking on yeah. candy. <laughs> that, that counts. I, yeah. I don't snack throughout the day because I find it takes up time. So, and I, as it is, sometimes I miss lunches because I'm just busy doing stuff. I don't like to take the time to eat sometimes. But that's not good either. But I always have breakfast. I always have breakfast. Sometimes I'll miss a lunch and then um, have a bigger dinner. <laughs> and then, yes, have treats after that. Treats? <laughs> All right. Uh, uh, here comes the real story. Steve Stephen. <laughs> We're going to get the uh, revised, his historically accurate version of that. Everyone says I eat like a bird, but in reality, birds eat a lot, but I don't eat. Birds are dinosaurs, Jill. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to summarize, she'd be hungry. <laughs> yeah, like all the like scale prep, I keep, I've forgotten to eat several lunches at times, and I, I don't like when I do that, because then you don't feel well, and I have to have my three meals, I guess, because I don't eat one big meal, so. <laughs> then Are... eats one big meal a day. Mm -hmm. If I remember, yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> My hunger yeah, and I also is eat. Broken. I also eat slow, so when I, like, make lunch, it'll take me sometimes an hour to finish it, because I'm not, not always just sitting there eating. I we go gotta work and... on that. We, we gotta get you some practice. Yeah. <laughs> I'll speed you up, speedy. <laughs> I don't understand. Like the, um, she's a slow seater ever. We're we're gonna work on that. We're gonna have like a Rocky montage, except about eating. Like that, but with food. This time next year, you'll be winning hot dog eating competition. What else? They have pie eating. Oh. I can't. I, I just I get sick if I try and eat too quickly. That's why so. it's gonna be fun to watch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Speed, speeds run what? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Take two on that. It's a downfall. I like cooking more than I like eating. Way more apparently. Yeah, I can see that, Ben. <laughs> I told you to quit creeping in my windows, man, when I cook them. Yeah. It's weird. I, I can... Oh. Alright. Looks good. Nothing is exploding. Nothing's clicking. Nothing's popping. <laughs> I think that was the only issue. Cool. Alright. Well, Jill, you have a fantastic time eating yeah. lunch. Hopefully you'll get it done before Steve gets home. Yeah. <laughs> Aw. Bye, Steve husband. I'll see you late tonight. <laughs> Bye, everyone. No bets? <laughs> uh, come on, man. Let's get, let's get some cheddar on the table. 
Oh, yummy cheese. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. That's my favorite food in the world is cheese. <sighs> whoop, whoop, uh, fam. All right. <laughs> Bye, everyone. Bye, everyone. We love you. Oh.